From one point to the other point, from your birth to your death. Of this, you cannot change. You cannot get off. You cannot stop it. You cannot reverse it. You're going to keep continuing to travel upon it. The point is, and that which you have the ability to change, is the way in which you travel upon it. How are you going to travel upon it? As a believer who is increasing, or as one who has disbelieved? As one who believes correctly, his aqidah, his sahiha, is correct, his belief is correct, or like the one whose belief is not correct? Are you going to tread upon it as those who fear Allah? Those who strive to obey Allah? Or are you going to tread upon it like those who are disobedient of Allah? Those who do not fear Allah time? Because the way in which you tread upon it, this will be the deciding factor with regards to what day you end up in in the end. Because the final abode will either be Jannah or it will be Nar. It will either be Jannah, the paradise, or it will be the fire. There is no third option. It will either be this or it will either be that. It will either be good or it will either be bad. It will either be bliss or it will either be punishment. So now the choice is yours, Ya Ibad. You all have the ability, Ya Ibad. I know you have the ability, Ya Ibad. So I encourage you like I encourage myself, first and foremost, to enrich yourself. Become one who is better. Stay away from those things which make you worse. Stay away from those things which will pull you down. Stay away from those individuals which themselves want no good for themselves. Stay away from them. Put yourselves around people who want good for themselves. Put yourselves around people who benefit themselves. Stay away from those who like to destroy themselves. This is what I encourage you of, Yahima. Do not become complacent or compliant. Do not find it sufficient. Mediocrity. Do not find it sufficient. Lowliness. We don't accept it in our deen, or in our dunya. Why do we accept it in our deen? We must, as believers, be able to look past the here and the now. No one tells his child go to school and shoot for makbul. No one tells his child go to school and shoot to be a C student. As long as you get D's, it's fine. Just get D's. As long as you don't get F's, it's okay. Does anyone you encourage his child with that? No. You tell him to be the best. Does any of you tread through life through your businesses like that? I'm going to do this because I want to fail. That you strive to for success. So likewise, look past the here and look past the now. And I'll pose to you a similar so that you may contemplate on. If there was a monetary gain for every ayah that you memorized, every ayah memorized from the Quran, your bank account will increase and swell by X amount of money. Bilal Shaq, I have no doubt the whole room will be hafal. Everyone will be hafal. Because most individuals can only see the here and now. What will benefit me immediately? Immediate benefit. Immediate satisfaction. Immediate gratification. This is what destroys individuals. Whereas the believer, he looks past the here and now. Because as the Prophet ﷺ, he said, at dunya sijnu mu'min wa jinnatu kafir. The Prophet ﷺ, he told us that this world is a prison for the believer. And it's paradise for the disbeliever. So the believer, he looks past the here and now. He does stuff now because he wants to benefit later in the akhirah. He's not looking for immediate reward. In fact, he's scared of immediate reward. Because immediate reward, a reward now means there's no reward then. You don't get paid twice, you get paid once. So the Sahaba was scared. If things were too good in their life, they become scared. Am I getting paid for my salah now? I haven't got sick in some time. Am I getting paid for my fasting now? They don't want the payment now. I'd rather the payment in the akhirah. Keep hearing now. I want akhirah. I want the hereafter. So we have to be able to look past here and now. Because the reality is that for the one who memorizes the Quran, it will benefit you more in the akhirah than having all of the money in the world will benefit you now. Money, if anything, it will lead you astray. It will destroy you. Whereas the Quran... Who that? It is a guidance. It will benefit you. When you meet your Lord in the Akhirah, it will benefit you. It will raise your ranks in the Jannah. This is the reality. 
It is better than getting your bank account increased by all of the wealth in the world tenfold for every verse. No, not every verse, but for every letter. It's better for you. So now that this is the reality, how come? How come, Ya Ibad? With this being the case, with this being the reality, for us and those who claim to love ourselves and we're good for ourselves and be concerned for ourselves, with this being the case, how come they're not a room full of those who have memorized the Quran? Hada, aqulu qawli hada, wa astaghfirullah li wa laqum wa aqimu salat.